I'm sure you've been seeing them, and now it's time to talk about them a little bit. Build them out, the Axion Bolts, and if you haven't been using them, it might be a perfect time to see what they're all about. There are things that you can do with them that are just flat out strong, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. And with the Axion Bolts, there are two exotics for the Warlock that stand out, I Have Another World and the Controverse Hold. I'm going to show you what those two do with the Axion Bolt times, with various grenade accelerating mods, like Bomber, Kickstart, and more. There is a serious loop of Axion Bolts that can happen. So the first portion of this is going to be PvP, then near the end, using them and building into them for PvE. When the ability changes went live, there were a couple of grenades that stuck out, and I went over all those in the updated variable cooldown video. The Axion Bolt at Tier 10 is a 35 second cooldown. It has base 100 damage and 125 with the top tree charge up. That's big damage for a 35 second cooldown. And these have always been a great grenade, and a lot of players are asking why. Why now? Two important things. One, the new cooldown relation to the damage that it does, and the second thing is that hunters can't break tracking anymore. As crazy as that sounds, hunters not being able to break tracking is the biggest buff to them. Because no matter what your cooldown was before with the Axion Bolt, Tier 10, it could essentially be a useless grenade, and there's nothing worse than throwing a good grenade that will literally do nothing. Because they just dodge, break the tracking, and it's worthless. Things like the Shinobu Vow skips, those survived because you had two of them. The first one burned the dodge, and the second one would land. And with Trials 3v3, there's a good chance you're going to face a hunter or multiple hunters on the enemy team. That's why no one really used that grenade. And in turn, Voidwalker. But not anymore. With the Axion Bolt, they increase the damage versus PvE combatants by 15%. They increase the Bolt tracking search radium by 33%, increase Bolt movement speed by 10%, and increase the Bolt travel distance by 15%. There's a lot to like there, so let's talk about the cooldown. All of these tests are done with Tier 10 Discipline Max, 35 second cooldown. The mod accelerators used are Grenade Kickstart, Double Bomber, and after all this I'm going to talk about more. I took the base and added one after the other to start getting some total times. I do recommend that you have a solar class item that looks like this for the Crucible. This has everything, a Discipline mod, Double Bomber, Taking Charge. Bomber states that you get grenade energy when you pop your Rift. So for all of this, it's 100 Discipline and as high recovery as you can. For the base grenade, it's 35 seconds. As you can see, Double Kickstart and Double Bomber create the same timer at 30 seconds. You can go faster from there by adding more. Maybe just a Kickstart with a Double Bomber it gets you down to 27 seconds, but if you do Double Grenade Kickstart, Double Bomber, it's 25 seconds. This is just at base. Now, let's take a look at Eye of Another World. Remember, highlights priority targets and improves regeneration speed of your grenade, melee, and rift. It's a massive helmet with what we're trying to do. The base cooldown gets to 29 seconds from 35. The same thing, Double Bomber, Double Grenade Kickstart, they give the same cooldown. Gets it from 29 seconds to 25. And already, that right there, just by having I Have Another World with, let's say, Double Bomber, matches what Double Kickstart and Double Bomber was for the base one. But if you go Double Bomber, Double Kickstart, it gets down to 21 seconds. Very fast. And again, in a moment, I'm going to keep on adding on to this. There's still more things to add. And also, very important, with I Have Another World, you're also getting Melee and Rift. Those are very important to keep the Axion Bolts coming. Then, Controverse Hold. The holds in PvP have a static return, so it's really nice to test. So as you're charging up a grenade, you do get some damage resist, and that charged void grenade returns an amount of grenade energy on hit. With the hold times, the base is down to 28 seconds. A big thing about the Controverse Hold, it has to land. So all of these times are including the Axion Bolt actually hitting an enemy. So the base cooldown gets down to 28 seconds. If it lands, you're good. Now the holds, they are faster than I Have Another World, but that doesn't tell the full story. Again, we have the same cooldowns if you have either Double Bomber, Double Kickstart. It's 23 seconds, still very fast. But if you go all in, Double Bomber, Double Kickstart, it's an 18 second cooldown. That's a very potent grenade with a very fast cooldown. And remember, within the tree, you have another accelerant. Entropic Pull. That's the melee. It doesn't have to be a final blow. They could be full health or it could be the final, but once you hit them, it's going to give you about 40% of your grenade, a massive chunk. I want to bring up the times in a moment, but let's really talk about this with what you can do. Regardless on if you go with Eye of Another World, Controverse Hold, the other part is adding another accelerant. And when you use this, you want it to be on a strong base added weapon. Because if it is on a strong base stat weapon, you aren't relying on anything extra, like a kill clip or an opening shot or a moving target. The weapon kind of stands on its own. The perk? Demolitionist. We saw that coming. In all gameplay, I am running double Demolitionist. Weapons like the Astral here with Pulse Monitor demo. Reese Walker with Surplus demo. There's IS Luna Rangefinder demo. In the energy, I have a Bone Chiller with demo, and I have a very nice Demolitionist Kill Clip BXR. All of these are really strong at base. High stats, and they perform well. But here's what you need to realize when you add in these weapons. These cooldown times, these accelerants getting that 35 second grenade down to 25 seconds, 20, 18. When you get a 
kill with a demolitionist weapon, it gives about 10% grenade energy. And I've heard that with special weapons, it gives you 20%. Regardless, when you throw that grenade and you get it going, let's say with a kickstart, maybe throw down, pop a rift, double bomber, you accelerated that grenade cooldown time. If you get about two kills with your demolitionist weapon, it gets you right back to the Axion Bolt. I've had over 20 in a match, over 20. It all flows because the top tree overcharged Axion does 125, and Ice Luna headshot 70, that's 195 damage. A BXR burst with the Axion is 200 total damage. For a lot of weapons, all you need is an overcharged Axion tag and then a headshot. Maybe just a headshot at first and then let the bolt chase him. Very, very strong, and that cleanup is with the demo weapon, so you're getting some grenade back. When you combine all of it into your build, you can tackle parts of it, but once you add in everything, and then add on every kill giving grenade energy, it starts to roll. But there's the question of what's better, I have another world or the controverse holds. With these timers, controverse hold is faster. And in something like 6v6, you're gonna get a lot of use out of that. Throwing grenades, popping rifts, there's six enemies to throw them at, getting the demolitionist kills, landing melees, it flows. It's gonna happen fast. And in 3v3, as long as you get a tag, it's gonna be fine. But I have another world also helps that rift. It also helps that melee. And its cooldowns aren't too far behind at all. They're right there. And in something like 3v3, it makes a lot more sense. But if you take it into 6v6, it's going to be great there too. Both are great. But the biggest thing to take away, the controversial hold needs a tag. So if your enemy dies or they get away, it loses any upper hand that it had. These Axion Bolts are brutal right now. They're making players move just like they did in Destiny 1. There's no more dodging. The only thing that really hard stops it is going to be a Titan Barricade. It makes a player move. If not, they're going to eat the damage. If you haven't tried them yet, try them. And I do recommend building them out like this or something similar. And even try it with a demo weapon. It's no joke. Throw that grenade, pop a rift, get a couple kills. You're going to see it yourself. Then start making your build decisions. They're already a terror in PvP, but building into them more, it's a nightmare. Not to mention we have Void 3.0 coming out with Witch Queen. It's going to get a lot more interesting. But wait, a new challenger approaches. There's one more exotic that needs to be talked about. It's one that if you decided to go all in, everything that we've talked about, combine it, it is the best. But that doesn't take away anything from I Have Another World, Controverse Hold, because if you use those, they're going to perform great. There's also Nezerak Sen. The Abyssal Extractors, Void Damage Kills Increase Ability Recharge Rate. This could be from the Axion, a Charged Void Melee, a Void Weapon, Nova Bomb. Bringing up the earlier chart, I and Controverse Hold, they have strengths. Both are fast, each one gets a little bit better the more you add to the build. These times are with the Abyssal Extractor buff on screen, meaning I got a Void Kill with the Axion. It's actually behind in a couple categories. But this is with just the Axion Bolt Final Blow, not to mention a Void Kill or a Melee Kill with the Void Charged Melee. There's one more thing to add. Adding in a Void Demolitionist weapon. With double kickstart, double bomber, the cooldown gets to 15 seconds. The Void Demo weapons are Bone Chiller, Gnawing Hunger, Reckless Oracle, Glacioclasm, Truth Teller, Bottom Dollar, Retold Tail, the Decide, Seven Seraph Sidearm, and the Thousand Yard Stare. Not to mention, with all of this, you have Bloom. The Nezrak build does need a full commit, and it really calls for a Void Demolitionist weapon to really have the massive acceleration. And all these builds bring the Axion Bolt over the top. Small section for PvE, these grenades are very potent and viable there as well. And what's nice, you can run various setups. In all gameplay, I'm using a Demolitionist Vorpal, Seven Seraph Sidearm. One way is with Nezrak Sin. All base mods are elemental ordnance, so defeating a combatant with a grenade spawns a void elemental well. Solar bountiful wells. Elemental well mods that spawn an elemental well now stack, spawning additional wells. Void well of tenacity. Picking up a void elemental well reduces the damage you take from combatants for a short period. Font of might. Picking up an elemental well that matches your subclass energy type gives bonus damage to the same element type. Solar explosive well maker. Rapidly defeating combatants with explosive damage spawns solar elemental wells. This happens because of bloom. So in picking up the wells, I get more ability energy, more weapon damage, reduced damage from combatants. Very basic, but it's very good. And you are throwing these things constantly. And with Nezrak Sin, it's a near constant upkeep of the Abyssal Extractor giving energy on screen. And there's still something like Double Bomber to make up a gap. You can also fit in champion mods and more. The other is with Controverse Hold. And I want to reiterate, they up the damage of the Axion Bolt for PvE. It helps all of this a ton. I use the same mods that I went over previously. With high enemy density, you're going to slay him out, and it's best paired with a Void Weapon. Bonus if it's Demolitionist. The Contra's Hold, it's giving a big chunk of grenade energy once you get a tag. It's a very fun way to play. It's a very, very good grenade. Try some of these out, and I may put up a raw gameplay later on in the week. It's of a We Ran Out of Metals 46 kill game with the Nezerak Sin. I'm going to talk about it in the beginning, then you can just see the full build working. You can watch it if you'd like, and I would put it up because I'm working on a couple more reviews. That way there's something up to watch. 
but the Axion Volts, they're no joke, and they're gonna get better with Void 3.0. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button, and if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. If you're looking for a new controller, I am partnered with Scuff Gaming. Use the link down below and my code COOL at checkout for a discount. Let's talk about Voidwalker and the Axion Bolts down below. Try some of this. Thank you for watching, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.